Hey, you're V, yes? Whoa, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Uh, there's, uh, something on your face. The grenade. Can I ask why? You have a juggling accident or something? Not cool. You ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself. You are V, correct? Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where'd Sue? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Now you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I wanna pick my nose. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. Huh. You never know with you gringos. Tiger claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. You came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. What the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? Better if you told me what you were planning from the get go. <laughs> That's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit, okay? Now, are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Ooh. Happy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got me powder for my nose. <laughs> and, does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here. Like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. They're not even human! Vampires, the lot! And I tell you, no! The Arasakas are no ordinary clan. They're not even human! Vampires, the lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live! 
or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my words! Wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won. You ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. He didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah. Maybe. In any case, if you see him again, send him to me. You want to meditate too? No, I want to read his tarot. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. Well, how's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. What's the big deal? I wish somebody would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? It's weird, but... I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect the Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority. Rebellion and fanaticism. 
He is a grave threat. A devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. I'll watch out. I'm glad you understand.